Hello everyone, it's Christoph here again from Interstudio and this is like a quick tip too. We are going to pick up the threads where we left them and we are going to configure this button toggle to change the LED value on this uh, potentiometer. To do this, we could do various things, but I'm going to show you how we can define some global variables on grid and use those. So we are going to go to the system events, which can be found down here on the module, or you can pick it out from this element dropdown. Usually the system event is a reference to this little button, the utility button. You can configure what this button does um, right there. And it's usually the uh, number of control elements plus one. So you can find it like that. Okay, here we are on system events and we are going to uh, initialize two different Lua tables. And from these tables, we are going to read out different RGB values because the um, LEDs on grid use RGB values to show different colors. We are going to use a full red, like 25500, and we are going to use a green one, which is 0, 255, and 0. These are our two global tables. If you have a variable which doesn't have any local or self um, prefix, it will be a global variable on grid. And it can be uh, accessed from any of the control elements within a module. Okay, these are our initial tables. And we are going to use these colors to set the button, I mean the potentiometer LED value. Let's come here to the button and we are going to edit the existing code blocks here because it's uh, the most convenient way. We are going to call in the LED color function and the first parameter should be the index of the control element. Indexing is usually like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. So it's uh, going from the top left uh, control element to the, all the way to the bottom right control element. Um, all this is on the documentation site, docs.integr.studio, or shoot an email through support at integr.studio, or check out our Discord channel. We are happy to help with these configurations. So here I'm going to set zero because we set the first potentiometer, layer one because that's the layer combo, and we are going to use either of the tables um, assigned. It's a good thing to know if you're coming from a different programming language that in Lua scripting you need to start table referencing with one instead of zero. So that's why I have here one, two, and zero at the table indexes. Okay, I hope this one will work. We can copy this piece of code because we will use very similar thing down here. I'm just rewriting which table to use in the different sections of the if else. And yes, now if I'm pressing the button, the toggle value changes the LED color on this little um, LED. But what happens if I plug out my module and come back in? It will be initialized on the blue color again because this LED is initialized with the base colors. If I press it again, it will go to the red-green cycle, so it's all good, the configuration is there, it's stored on the module even after plugging it off and plugging it back, but if we want to initialize it correctly, we need to come back to this potentiometer, and I will do that now. Select the potentiometer, and go to the init. And here the red, green, and uh, blue values should be changed. Like 
this. And I think the first one should be using the second table. So we're going to test this one out like that, store it. And now, yeah, it works as I want it. I turn it on. Okay, initial value is green, press its red, green, and it works in the full cycle. Cool. That's it for this short video. This is how you can use and uh, reference some Lua tables on Grid with the help of Grid Editor. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.